Today we're going to be talking about what to do when Photoshop goes wrong. Whether a tool is not working right or something is acting strange and Photoshop is not behaving the way it should and probably you've done something that you don't know what you've done and you want Photoshop back in the shape the way it came installed. Probably you might want to reset the preferences file. Now if it's a workspace problem, that might not be the case. So for example, here we are in Photoshop and suppose everything is messed up. So let's mess up stuff. So everything is here and there around and nothing is right. Okay. And the toolbar is gone probably. And you want it back. In that case, you might not have to reset the preferences. In that case, simply just go to windows, workspaces, essentials, or whatever workspace you have saved and reset workspace and it will reset itself again. Okay, so if you have not saved any workspace, just go to Windows, Workspace, and then Essentials, and just reset the Essentials. Even if Essentials is not working right, Workspace again, and then click on Reset Essentials. So it will come just the way Photoshop came in when you first installed it. Now, if that's not a workspace problem, if that doesn't solve your problem, here's what you need to do. You need to reset the preferences file. Now, what is preferences? Suppose you're working on Photoshop, and suppose this is Photoshop, this fist. And you're creating a piece of work like that and you're saving it somewhere somewhere location that you choose okay you save it somewhere there photoshop doesn't care where you save it and it's independent of where it is saved you can send it you can do whatever you want with it it doesn't really matter you can open it up again in photoshop now but every time you do something to photoshop for example you create a new workspace make changes in some settings or something like that it saves those in a file called preferences it saves everything like that in a preferences file. So Photoshop creates a file called preferences. And along with that file, it creates some other files like color settings or workspaces and so on and so forth. But it creates those files and saves it somewhere inside the Photoshop directory. Okay. It doesn't have anything to do with the art or files or images that you create. That's a separate thing. But every time you do something with Photoshop, some change in settings and so on and so forth, it gets stored in these files. Now, accidentally, we might have made changes to these files, these preferences, color settings files, which is undesirable to us. Also, it might be a cause of a bug or a virus. So whatever the reason is, we can reset the same. Now, there are two ways of doing it. There are pros and cons to both of the ways. Let's discuss it one by one. So the first method is a little tricky, but it has its own advantages. If you reset the preferences file using the first method, number one advantage, you will have a backup. So suppose resetting that doesn't work for you and you want the way it was with a little problem, you can always go ahead and reset it back to that original form. So there's always a backup of the previous preferences file. The second advantage is it doesn't erase everything. So if you use the second method, second method is easy, but the first method doesn't erase things like color settings or workspaces, etc. So what is the first method? Step number one, close Photoshop because every time you close Photoshop, it writes to the preferences file. Make sure no Photoshop is running in the background. Okay. So all you have to do is simple close Photoshop. And this is very, very important. Close it. Okay. And I just don't want to save it. So I'll just click no and let's close Photoshop. Now what you have to do, you have to find these locations. For Mac, the location is this. For Windows 7 and XP, the locations are given on the screen. Now inside of those locations, you'll find something called the preferences file. And you have to move that file. For Windows 10, I'm gonna show you how to do the same. And now, one more thing. If you're using a Mac, the file might be hidden. The folders might be hidden, the library folder especially. So you might have to unhide it. For Windows 10, I'm just gonna show you what to do. So it's in C. Users, whatever your username is, go to that username and there's a folder called app data. Now, this folder is a hidden folder. So here's what you need to do. Go to options. If you don't see it, go to options, change folder and search options and then view and make sure this is checked. Show hidden files, folders and drive. Click apply and then click OK. I've already done it, so I'll just hit OK. If this is not visible, you got to do that. Now app data and then roaming and then Adobe. Now inside of Adobe, click Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 and then 2018 settings and that there you have it. The prefs file. You will see a similar file in Mac. Now, if you're using older versions of Windows or older versions of Photoshop, you might see two files, 64 and 32 of preferences file, which means that you're running both 64 and 32 versions. And for that matter, you'll have to move both of those files. Okay. If you see both, remove both. If you see just one, move just one. 
All you have to do, just move this file, this prefs file to another location. Don't copy it, just move it. Now when you move it to another location like desktop or whatever location but not this location, Photoshop is gonna sense that there is no preferences file and it will recreate it, a brand new preferences file. So all you have to do, move this to another location. I'm not gonna do it because my preferences are right and then start Photoshop and it will create that file. Now here's an important thing that I want you to understand. If you had a lot going on in that old preferences file and after resetting it, it kinda didn't solve your problem, you can always get that back, the old preferences, because you had copied that to another location. All you have to do, just replace the new preferences file and you're good to go. So that is the advantage because it is safe of the first method. The second method is pretty easy. It's just a keyboard shortcut, but the drawbacks are large. What is the drawbacks? Well, it will delete your workspaces that you have saved. It will delete your color settings. It will delete all the keyboard shortcuts that you had created, right? Custom keyboard shortcuts that you had created. It won't delete the default keyboard shortcuts, just the custom ones that you had modified. But if you had, hadn't done any of that, it doesn't really matter, it's very easy to do. And another considerable drawback of the second method is that you have no backup of the old preferences file. So if you wanted that back for some reason, you just cannot get it back. And yes, it's always advisable to save all your actions, your brushes, your curves, presets to a separate location that you know, okay? Save it in one folder that you know and organize it well so that when you reset Photoshop and you don't see it, if you don't see it, you can get that back easily. So here's how to work the second method. It's very simple. First of all, close Photoshop. Quit Photoshop. It shouldn't be running. Keep your fingers on these three keys, Control, Shift and Alt. If you're using a Mac, that would be Command, Shift and Option. Don't press it. Just keep your fingers on those keys, hovering over those keys. Now, all you have to do, you have to launch Photoshop in any way you want. Just launch Photoshop and just immediately after you launch Photoshop, not before, immediately after you launch Photoshop, hold these three keys, okay? So I'm just gonna hold these three keys after I launch Photoshop. So I'm just gonna click right in there and hold these keys. Now it asks you this question, delete the Adobe Photoshop settings file, click yes if you wanna reset that, but I don't wanna do it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click no. And that's how you work the second method. And by the way, if the dialog box doesn't show up, you might have to try it again. Close Photoshop, keep your fingers above those buttons, launch Photoshop, just when you launch Photoshop, just immediately after that, hold those keys. So that's how you reset preferences in Photoshop and that's what to do when Photoshop isn't acting right. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.